Attractive people of Reddit. What are some negative things that come with being attractive? You can't just be friendly and joke with people. They almost always think you're flirting. As an ugly guy, sometimes I'm flirting, but they think I'm just being friendly. Attractiveness is very subjective. For example, I think one of my friends is pretty hideous, but his girlfriend, who is way prettier than I am, thinks he's a total fox and the features I find ugly she finds unique and adorable. His ex was also ridiculously pretty, and he's the one who broke up with her. I think he looks like Napoleon Dynamite. But this seems to be an empirically unpopular opinion among the rest of my gender. All I'm saying is, no matter how you see yourself, you're someone's type. I guarantee that plenty of women are into those features you think are flaws. Don't put yourself down. You think you're ugly because you're not your type. Sometimes it feels like your value as a person becomes rooted in your appearance and having a personality and experiencing the spectrum of human emotions shatters whatever image of you someone has created in their mind. This, for sure, people love to project. I'll admit that I'm considered attractive and that the positives outweigh the negatives. But when partners start confronting the reality of my life I've often been relegated to simply a sex partner, not a partner partner which I understand for some men is the dream, but actually it's not. While I've never had trouble getting laid, I've had more than a few women tell me straight up that I wasn't dating material. Like, I get it, but it gets old, and it's not sustainable. On the female flip side, I have had a few men not believe that I've only been with however many sexual partners I had at the time. Assuming just because I'm a pretty woman I'm sleeping around. Nothing against people who do. But that's not every own's lifestyle. I've been very shy and plagued with anxiety for most of my life. And people have actually perceived that as being stuck up and vain. I'm outwardly cold and unexpressive because I'm terrified of people. Not because I think I'm better than. And I've also spent much of my life believing I'm ugly and gross. Attractiveness doesn't equal confidence. Whoa. This right here. That's me. I would high five. But this really doesn't seem like the right time. Close bracket. Use your elbows. People keep looking but don't talk. This is so puzzling when you're an ugly duckling and you don't really know yet that you're attractive. So true. Almost feels like they are patronizing you. People make assumptions that you're going to be cocky or arrogant and won't approach you. I generally have to initiate conversations. There's also this odd behavior from strangers, where it's perfectly okay to criticize my appearance in this passive slash aggressive sort of way. I've had friends tell me that when they first saw me, they that I was going to be a bitchy girl. What a lovely assumption to make on some owns bloody appearance. When I first saw you, I thought you were a total bitch. Is not a compliment. Sometimes people automatically think you're a duck boy or a conceited asshole if you fit the stereotypical appearance of an attractive guy. And insecure men are challenged by you and instantly start treating you with animosity. Similarly, big, tough looking guys are challenged to fights way more than normal or weak looking guys. I knew two brothers who were bouncers. One was 5 feet 10, wore glasses, and was quite passive. The other was 6 feet 3, huge covered in tattoos, and had facial scars. The larger brother was always the one who had people challenge him to a fight. Me. Walking through the suburbs minding my own business. Cars. H-O-N-K. I ducking hate this. Startles the duck out of me, and I feel like 9 tenths people do just for that purpose. I'm a guy and I wouldn't do this but I DK. I'm guessing they do it because they find it fun, and they don't give a duck. They really shouldn't though. As a woman, not being taken seriously, especially in a group of men. Yep, I have a friend who is head turning attractive. She went to Stanford, in a STEM field. She had a group project in a class, and couldn't find anyone who would be in a group with her. When she asked someone why they wouldn't let her in, she was told that they thought she was dumb and wouldn't be able to do the work. They'd never worked with her before. They didn't even know her. There is definitely a point of attractiveness as a woman, where people assume you're so pretty you cannot possibly be smart too. 
lot of women in my ing programs, dress down for some of those reasons. No macupe. Glasses. It's a thing. People assume I'm dumb. That's interesting. I think I read somewhere what attractive kids are likely to get more attention from their teachers, and what not so they're actually more likely to perform better. Who so that's why my multimedia teacher was so nice to me, but an asshole to everyone else at the jet go. People assuming that trying to have a normal friendly conversation is flirting. I literally dress like a slob, so I don't get it on as often, or followed in parking lots. I'm not even that attractive. I definitely hear that. A friendly conversation with the other sex is so quickly seen as something more than just that. My best friend is very attractive. People, especially other women, often automatically assume she is arrogant, and that she thinks she is better than everyone. That'll ironically make her arrogant. Because society expects that. HM. Not really in her case. For some people maybe. However. She now has a right don't care what people who don't know me well think about me attitude. People don't tell her she's arrogant. They gossip behind her back. She had some hard times in high school. I remember when I lost 100 pounds years back I noticed tons of people were treating me very different. All the people that would side eye me from across a room wanted to talk and get to know me. It made me kind of bitter because my personality hadn't changed. But they made fun of my personality when I was fat. I was going to say something similar but kept scrolling. Figuring I'd find a post like this. I had gastric bypass, so it feels like I cheated. It's a bit like survivor's guilt. The thing I want to tell all the still fat people is, yes. They were totally gaslighting you about how it doesn't matter. It does. The world treats me so much better now that I'm not that fat guy and it's bullshit and unfair and I'm totally benefiting from it. You are being robbed of your dignity and it sucks. And it shouldn't be that way. I'm maintaining a 130 pounds weight loss 4 years now, odd it, and when I overhear PPL talking hash, dollar sign on so, Ian who is overweight I feel like an unintentional double agent. Aging. Because the perks I enjoyed as an attractive young woman are notably changed as I age. Yeah it becomes a part of your identity, and when it starts going away feels like you're losing yourself. I'm getting close to acceptance, but that transition is a rough time. Less about perks for me though. It's more about losing that easy confidence that I can dress and do what I want without worrying it looks bad. I don't know how to cope with the extra worry, but I'm working on it. Oh man. I started out chubby, got thin, and now I'm fat again. But being able to wear whatever I wanted for those 5 good years was amazing. I wore patent pants. But I won't change the education of how to hide problem areas either lol. Being objectified. People will ghost you or become flat out mean after they either get what they want slash find out you won't give them what they want. This is not exclusive to sex. But sex is probably the most common. I wasn't always conventionally attractive and I used to be a bit of a loner slash weirdo until my early 20s. I will befriend anybody at work if they seem nice. Some guys might avoid talking to me because they think I won't care about them because they're nerds or not very cute or whatever. Well it's happened a few times now, maybe four, where the guy I guess isn't used to very much interaction with women, so they think I'm talking to them because I'm interested in a relationship. So after a few weeks of being friends, when they finally confess their feelings it gets awkward. Most of the time it ends with them being mad at me for leading them on. Being harassed in public. I'm not super attractive. But after I lost weight and started meeting more conventional beauty standards the attention I got skyrocketed. I have been followed around the grocery store. Groped by strangers while I went about my business. Shouted at on the street. It's scary sometimes. Yep. I've stopped wearing skirts in crowded places because of the amount of times I've gotten the hand up the skirt. Jesus stuck in Christ. As a dude, it blows my mind that this shit still happens. Who are these men? People are always brainwashing me into killing various world leaders. But why male models? But why male models? 
I've had several relationships where my partners would lie about how they felt, what they actually wanted, or times that I hurt them because they were more invested in keeping the relationship going than actually enjoying being in a relationship. So they'd say whatever they thought they needed to to keep me from wanting to leave. Also people who feigned wanting to be in a relationship just to sleep with me, even though I'm already down for casual sex. I have a hard time trusting people. Colon open bracket. Even though I'm already down for casual sex what about rank competitive sex? Too easy to end up in lol. I wouldn't describe myself as a super metal, but I was a bit of an ugly duckling, having been on both sides. What I found surprising, at least as a female, is you are hated by far more people, mostly other girls, when you look good, than when you didn't. Before people were mean, but it was usually more like occasional passive ashillery. Afterward, however, it was active, overt hatred slash bullying on a nearly daily basis. Not only did it intensify with the girls that were already mean before, usually popular, but there were suddenly a whole host of ones that were previously friends slash in the same social class, and also many that previously didn't seem to even know I existed before, which is odd. When I feel depressed and tell someone, which is hard, and I get scoffed at by people who don't understand what I have to be depressed about. Since being good looking automatically means your life is perfect in their eyes. Men seem to get enchanted by me and fall in love at first sight. But after a while, they realize I'm just a regular person with flaws and lose interest because I'm not the perfect sex goddess they thought I was. Also, insecure mean girls hate on me. People get awkward around me sometimes. Strangers feel compelled to talk to me relatively often. It doesn't matter what store I'm in, or how I'm dressed. Almost every time I'm in a store a stranger asks me for help. Mildly attractive but extra helpful looking I suppose lol. Walking in the store yesterday a lady suddenly spoke to me excuse me. Do you have really long arms? Took me a beat to realize that she couldn't reach some items that were pretty far back on a top shelf. I may not be attractive, but fear me and my long armoredness. All the crime documentaries I have watched seem to indicate that an attractive woman is at greater risk of a stalker, jilted crush or ex-partner killing her, and what they failed to mention is that you're also at a high risk of being stalked by other women. It's actually the same for both genders, although the number of guys killing girls is always higher. I won't call myself really attractive or anything but I feel beautiful and confident with my face and body. Whenever I see attractive people open up about insecurities people think they have the right to invalidate that person's feelings and opinions. Because they fit the current beauty standard and many people desire their body and face without realizing the fact that there's a clear difference between feeling beautiful and looking beautiful alongside the fact that everyone has their own beauty standard. Insecure but attractive enough to be stared at when just walking through a public place. Constantly eyes on you. Like is there something on me face. Feeling constantly. Creepy dudes at gas stations. And women looking up and down giving dirty looks like it's a competition or something. Leave me alone. People just assume that everyone must like you. And that you're popular I've been single all my life and still a virgin. Most of my ugly friends already dated kissed or gotten laid. Then they complain about being forever alone and ugly and how I must have huge lines of girls wanting to date many don't. Same here. And I can't blame my looks for being single. I know I'm the problem. Slash. I can blame my looks and myself. It's so great that every facet of me is so garbage that I really ought to be put out by the curb on Wednesdays. Men love you. Women hate you. PPL will whistle, or cat call at you, but not initiate intelligent conversation w you. But then you'll get it on constantly in certain places by the yuckiest of men and PPL make certain remarks on first impressions and proceed to think bc you're pretty you must also be dumb and pliable. I've heard it all. Yuckies men. Would attractive men do a difference? As someone who has been regularly told by people that I'm attractive slash beautiful since I was a child. I have considered it a big curse especially coming from a conservative country 
I started getting attention from men as a kid which led to sexual abuse. Everyone assumes I'm a bitch until they get to know me. I have had most men in my life that I have had serious relationships with including a marriage marry me or date me and stay in relationships cause I'm a trophy gf slash wife and that I check all the boxes. I have felt that none of them were ever in love with me. Just the whole concept of me. I have low self esteem as a result of that. Also most of my partners are get extremely jealous and possessive and relationships have turned sour cause either they feel they aren't good enough or the jealousy ruins it. I hate attention and go to large lengths to avoid it and I'm lousy at taking compliments. As soon as that happens I just want someone to change the topic. I have lost friends and received hate cause of all the male attention I got. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.